Today, we're looking at the Linksys CM3008 Doxis 3.0 cable modem. And uh, it says up to, to 343 megabits per second, but uh, really, I think uh, you really are only looking for an internet speed of maybe up to 100 megabits per second. It has uh, eight download and four upload channels. Uh, seems to be approved for all of the major uh, service providers and uh, anyway it's uh, got Intel inside so anyway uh, let's see what's inside the box opening the box we look inside and we can see the details and disclosures this is just a, a legal document we have a quick start guide that doesn't have much to say but uh, it does uh, talk about the LEDs which is pretty important we see a uh, Fairly nice looking ethernet cable. And oh, the mo modem, it's gone. No, no, it's not, not gone. I've actually got it in service. Let me show it to you. It's the back of the box, and they make a very strong case here. Why would you uh, want to rent at $10 a month when you can buy this thing for $58? And so uh, it certainly pays for itself in six months. And uh, the, uh, this is the, the model they have here, the eight by four, but they do sell some uh, more expensive models, although I did not, did not actually see it for sale in Fry's this morning. I had to buy a ca uh, cable modem. And very easy setup. Uh, you plug it in, hook up the cable, hook it up to the router, and of course they don't say this part, but you have to call up your cable company and give them the MAC address and the serial number, and then you'll be on your way. Well, here's the modem in action. Comes with a little power supply that plugs into a, a, a wall, a, a wall wart kind of a thing, uh, which is pretty standard. We can see uh, the lights. Let me read off the lights for you. The first light is the power, the first one on the left, and then the next to it is uh, the receive LED, then the send LED, then the status LED, and then the, the ethernet. So the status is green and the power is green, and the ethernet is blinking and the rest of them are blue solid. So anyway, uh, we can look at this online and, and see what's going on with the signal levels and the configuration, which is a lot more interesting than looking at the outside of the box. Oh yeah, before I do that, it uh, doesn't have too much way of connection. You plug in the cable, you plug in the ethernet, you plug in the power. So it's very small. Okay, in a web browser, we type 192.168.100.1 and we're greeted with the status page. So anyway, uh, we can see all the various different stuff, hardware version, software version, serial number, MAC address. Don't look at those things. Here we go, and uh, provisioning. It's kind of interesting here because when I, pl when I plugged this thing in before I called my cable company and had the thing activated, it said all these things here. Everything says success except for this EAE status, which is disabled, and it said authorized and operational, even though it was not working until I, I called my cable company and had it to set up. So um, this is what you should uh, see at all times. And then uh, we can take a look at our signal levels. Here, here we've got uh, various different stuff. My IP address, like I say, don't look at those things there. It's pr private information you're not supposed to see. And here we got uh, our eight channels. If we notice the modulation is 256 QAM, which is the fastest modulation available. Signal noise ratios are fair. It says uh, 37 to, to slightly below that at 36.6 as being the worst one. And I've seen slightly better signal noise ratios with my old cable modem that quit working. But uh, hey, that thing doesn't work at all. And then as far as the upstream, it says the signal level is uh, 52 to 54 dBmV, and we have four channels. So there's our, our, our four upstream channels and our eight downstream channels. And uh, I guess uh, there appears to be some errors here. I, I don't really know what any of this stuff means, but it, it, it's kind of interesting. And then uh, who knows, it always, all cable modems have these logs that say all this crap and it doesn't seem to mean anything either. And then uh, going on the last tab we have the LAN port status and it says uh, a gigabit uh, ethernet connection full duplex and that's what my uh, router is supposed to have. Your router may not be a gigabit, it might only be 100 megabits or 
you know, uh, hopefully it's not 10. That, that'd be uh, really bad news. But uh, anyway, uh, here we go. This is what you see on the status page. Okay, I'm supposed to have 50 megabits per second uh, speed test. And we'll just go ahead and, and run it. Ooh, look at that. Uh, well over 50 uh, megabits per second. Nice and solid. Very nice. 59. I, I guess they call this thing like uh, like some sort of a speed burst. You know, Cox... Uh, I think Cox has this kind of traffic prioritized so that you'll get really good numbers just to, to make them look good. So let's just take a look at the down. And it's supposed to be, I believe, one me megabit per second down. But you can see it's bursting up over five here for the speed test. And I guess I have the, the assumption that Cox has it kind of... Uh, prioritize but uh, boy that's some nice looking numbers here from this uh, modem